After we've created our boundary conditions and connected the parts together with connectors, the next thing we want to do is run a modal analysis to ensure that the parts are connected. So we'll go to step, we'll create a linear perturbation step, we'll call it modal step. We've done this before, it's frequency. Um, We'll check off USIM based linear dynamics and we'll test up to a maximum frequency of 2000 Hertz. And then we'll create a field output. It actually creates one for us. And we just want to report displacement. And I'll rename this modal. And then we'll go to mesh. I've meshed the part already. I'm limited on the number of nodes I can work with, but I just meshed the cover and the frame to uh, the best I could. But this would need some work in a professional scenario or real application. Then we'll go to job. We'll create a job. We'll call it modal. and we will run it. And I'll pause the video. Okay, it shows it's completed. We'll go to results. And it's a very coarse mesh, but we'll just see what type of frequency we get. So it says the first mode, or the natural frequency, is close to 68 hertz. That's much higher than zero. That frequency being so high, we're probably good, but let's just see how it reacts dynamically. We can go over here and look at the animation. And it looks like the first mode is the cover, bottom cover, and it is moving up and down, and it looks like everything is connected where we connected it at, so we should be good. So now we can proceed to more complicated dynamic analyses, such as random vibration, shock, and uh, so we'll go ahead and do that in the upcoming videos. I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time. Adios.